Hello friends, I am Dr. Vikram Singh Power Patil and I heartily welcome to all of you in this my channel. I know that I am interacting with you after a long time because I was busy in my some institutional work. So friends, today we will discuss how to extract bioclimatic variables for biological niche modeling by using Diva GIS and WorldClimb data. So friends, as I have already discussed about how to import bioclimatic database or uh, world climb database in this particular DivaGS software. So I'm not going to in detail how to import this database. So for, for understanding the bioclimatic variables, we need two fundamental layers. First one is the random points that I have created here you can see that these green points are the random points and this is the seal uh, wise layer of Kolapur districts so this is the aerial extent where we have to study the bioclimatic variables so friends this is the toolbar and here is the ecological Nietzsche modeling tool as you may know that ecological modeling is associated with the species distribution of an area. So by using this icon, we can study bioclimatic variables. So this is the input data that we have assigned here points, point database that we have already imported in this software. This is the climatic database as I have discussed that we are going to use world climb 2.5 minute gridded database that I am going to import here and these are the fundamental operations that we could do by using this particular option. This is the frequency I am just elaborating this enlarging this window this is the frequency and you can see that these number of near about 19 variables that we could study. Let us see this mean monthly temperature. You can see that this is the point plot that is showing mean monthly temperature range on the X axis and cumulative frequency in percentage on the Y axis. You can read this 48 valid non-duplicated observations out of 50 and you can see the outliers also. We just check another one. Okay. Here you can study the outliers. I have selected all these 19 parameters and graphical re representation of outliers you can see that you can study histogram of a particular variable mean annual temperature you can see the values of this one this is the mean annual temperature as well as frequency we could study envelope two fundamental variables are here one is the annual mean temperature and second one is the annual precipitation so you can see that out of this 48 observations near about 83 percent is in this envelope this is the annual mean temperature and annual precipitation so by using this predict option we could predict the bioclimatic distribution of the bioclimatic variables we have to just this is the type of output that is bioclimatic and these are the fundamental variables that you can visualize here on the screen and by assigning this output folder we can study or we can have this bioclimatic grid within a second it has been appeared 
you can see that this is the tehsil wise layer of Kolhapur district and this is the bio bioclimatic suitability analysis particularly when we talk about the species distribution suitability that that has given here this is the not suitable area for the uh, biodiversity enhancement we could say that this is the medium suitable very high suitable so excellent so as this way we could study bioclimatic variables and uh, uh, ecological niche models so friends please subscribe my channel and keep watching my channel thank you very much